Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Mary, and today I am showing you, I guess you could call it another clean and simple card using this kit from Hero Arts. Now I had to make a bunch of thank you cards and my daughter helped me. So we found a design that we can work with together. And this is what we came up with. So I'm starting off by taking my Nina 80 pound paper and I am just using the three colors that came in the kit. Now for this card, I would have to say I used, I think everything is from the kit in the, um, in the card. So normally I have to use one or two elements outside, but this one, I'm pretty sure the whole thing is from the kit. So I am coloring up all of these cards. Now in the video right here, I'm showing you just a few, but in total we made 15 cards. And so um, after I get the color down, I take that ribbon that came wrapped around the kit and I took a look at it and you can just open it up and it feels like tissue paper. So it doesn't feel like ribbon. It's more like tissue paper. And so a um, side note, pardon my robe. I tend to craft at 4.30, 5.30 in the morning and it's chilly downstairs. And so that is why <laughs> I'm wearing a robe. Sorry about that. Okay, so I covered the entire panel of this cardstock with some score tape, one inch score tape. And that way it would get full coverage for this tissue paper. I didn't want anything popping up or any bends anywhere. And so that's why I did that. And so I'm just gonna cut that down and then I'm gonna take two different size hearts and I'm gonna cut all in that paper. Just get as many, look at all these hearts I got. So as many hearts as I can. Some of them even are two-toned with both of the black and white and orange and black. So I, that's what I did. Very easy. Here's a close-up of how they came out. And they came out really, really pretty. Okay, so now it's moving on to the stamping for all the cards. And I'm only going to show you one on each, one step of each card at this point. Um, I think that's why the video is so short. Did not take long to mass produce these. But um, it, for video purposes, I'm just not going to show every single part. So I stamped out my elephant and then used the black embossing powder. Now, I definitely used my powder tool, embossing buddy, however you call it, um, for anti-static because I did not want, I wanted to minimize the black splatters on my cardstock. I still got them um, throughout the 15 cards. They're still black specks on a lot of them, but it's okay, it doesn't bother me. So now I've taken some, for this card, the, the, this set of cards, I've taken some Onyx Black ink, and nope, that's, that's not Onyx, is that Onyx? Yeah, Versafine. And I stamped out huge thanks on there. You can see my mistake on the other side of this paper. <laughs> we were practicing how we were gonna get the angle of our uh, swiping. And then I've backed this set of cards on a black mat. That is not how I backed all of them. For the others, we used the, the inks that came in the kit and we colored cardstock all around the corners and then we backed it on that as well. So you'll see in some of the close-ups. And then here I just topped it off with the heart that the elephant is holding. And that'll do it for the card. I hope you like this clean and simple card. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss any more of this card series. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.